Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Ben, and today seems to be like a day full of updates. I mean, we got iPad, we got Mac OS, we got Watch OS, we got TV OS, we got iMovie, and we got Final Cut Pro. So many updates today, and I'm going to be talking about iOS 14.01 in this video so for me on my iphone x let me just share my screen here so that you see what i'm seeing too it came in at around 176.4 megabytes you can see the size there and it took very short time you know to update and my device temperature didn't heat up which is good with this update and if we go into the settings and go to the general and go to the about section I actually didn't get a modem firmware update with this uh, update. So you can see that I have 4.00.00. And before I updated, I had 4.0.00. No, no no changes there and then if we go to the iphone storage just to see how much this iphone is taken up i mean this update is taken up what's wrong with me today so you can see if we scroll all the way down there right you can see that it's taken up 8.13 gig uh that's that's quite big uh, the previous version I think was taken up around six gigs so it has increased a little bit let me know if it came in different on your device and with regards to new features and changes with this update I, I, I looked around I searched everywhere right I also searched the internet but doesn't seem like we have any new features however we have security improvements so if you're worried about you know updating to iOS 14 you know the first wave of iOS 14 with regards to security this update has security improvements and Apple didn't advise what they fixed but it does have security improvements and that's good now with regards to some changes that came with this update if you go back to my screen here you can see that you know it's an update that is full of bug fixes and basically the first bug fix has to do with default application so with iOS 14 it basically gives you more flexibility you can even change your default apps what I mean by this for example like if I search here let's say half man you can see that I get all these Safari recommended links so if I want to change this right I have to go into the settings and then if I want to set, let's say, for example, Firefox or any other browser like Chrome that you see there is my default browser. All I have to do is to click there and select Chrome. And if I go back to the search page, you see that what I searched for now gives me Chrome links. So there was a bug on the previous version of iOS 14, which basically reset these settings. So if you had changed your default app, it will revert back to the Apple default apps after restarting your device. So this has been fixed now with iOS 14.0.1. Relax, relax. Also, this update fixes an issue whereby for iPhone 7 users, do I have an iPhone 7? Uh, I don't know, maybe I left it somewhere else. But anyways, if you have an iPhone 7 and you would use your camera app, which you see right there. So basically, you can see my camera app. It's basically showing you guys. So what's up, guys? This is me. Well, hey. <laughs> so basically, on iOS uh, 14, there was an issue whereby on iPhone 7 if you would use your camera app you see this screen that you know this live preview of what I'm seeing it wouldn't show up and that has actually been fixed with this iOS 14.0.1 also this update fixes an issue with regards to different mail servers I guess or mail applications so if you're using a different application to send your emails that which is besides you know the iCloud email or the default uh, Apple application and you're having issues then this update fixes that it also fixes an issue whereby you know you see how when you go to the app library here by just swiping to the left like this you have this news widget right so if you have this new widget and you are not seeing you know how you have those pictures that are besides the stories so on ios 14 on some devices this was not showing up on the news widget and let's just edit our widgets here quickly so that you see what i mean on the news widget so if you go to the uh, news here you can see that you know you have pictures and that correspond with the title right so if you go to the medium pictures are there and all sizes basically have pictures when it comes to ios 14 so on ios 14 the actual version that was released initially 
there were issues whereby pictures wouldn't show and now with 14.0.1 that issue has now been fixed uh, when it comes to battery performance if we go to the uh, settings of my device and go back to um, the battery section that i have right here you see that my battery health is still on 87 percent so it basically hasn't dropped so from updating from ios 14 to ios 14.0.1 that didn't affect my battery uh, maximum health in any way and we see the screen on time that i had basically this is because i just updated to 14.0.1 this screen on time that you see here is basically ios 14 and you see the average screen on time that i have that it was you know it wasn't great let's see like for specific days you can see that you know the average that i had was like on this day was 10 hours 53 minutes screen on time with four hours 47 minutes screen off time and basically that's using like 170 percent of the device and this is basically the average screen on time that i've been getting on my device nine hours 53 minutes so on ios 14 i wouldn't say it was great also i wouldn't say it was terrible so it's in between when it comes to battery performance now when it comes to device performance i did run geekbench scores let's just see the history that i have here for cpu performance so this is the cpu you can see that on ios 14.0.1 single core that's the score multi core this is the score that i had on 14.0.1 when it comes to the next update which is at this time i think it's going to be ios 14.2 beta 2 because we already have ios 14.2 2 beta 1 sounds crazy the numbers just keep going like this so 14.2 beta 2 if that's the next update if we open my calendar app here we can sort of expect it between the 29th and the 1st of october so that's you know a rough estimate of when we can expect it and whether you should update to ios 14.0.1 i think that yes yes it's a it's a good thing you should update with confidence it fixes a lot of security issues which is important i mean i value my security when it comes to using these devices because you know people are always listening so ios 14.0.1 it's a good update and i think if you're already on ios 14 you should update and if you're waiting to update to ios 14 from any other ios 13 version then i think this is an a uh, good update for you this is a list of all the supported devices that support ios 14 it goes all the way from the first generation iphone se very old device and also even this device that is the iphone 6s more than five years old it supports ios 14 and basically you can update i think it's a stable now and it's a good update and that's about it for me guys if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe if you haven't yet done so i believe over 90 percent of the people that watch this channel aren't subscribed so that would really help us out i think i didn't forget anything and stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon i see the apple watch coming up very soon peace guys